Hi, I'm Elle Mills, and I get one question asked more than anything. Throughout my life, I've always found boys cute. Meet my first crush, Nick Dunyon. Isn't he adorable? Throughout the years, I have found many other guys attractive, but deep down I knew I had other attractions as well. It's a side of myself that I've been so scared of that I've heavily repressed it until I met her. Now, I don't want to get your hopes up. This isn't a love story, but this is my coming out story. Sometimes feelings are so strong they can't be repressed. I figured that out in Toronto. Meet Dion York, the first person I came out to. A person I had known for 55 minutes. We went out, and I might have had a little too much to drink. We're gonna get fucked up. Uh, I almost made it to the club before I started crying. So Dion pulled me aside, and I told him everything. And he told me... Who you are, and who, you, who you're feeling this way for, is something to be celebrated. I went back to Ottawa the next day, and out came Emo L. Mom, I know you said I've been distant since I came back home in September. Now you know why. It took me a month to tell three of my friends. I broke down in an empty parking lot. Which reminds me, I have some family and friends I need to get up to date. I'm gonna explain to you my crush, and you have to draw out what you think they look like. So here are the attributes. Nice hazel eyes, has tattoos, kind heart, enjoys roller coasters, good taste in music, talented and charming. I know exactly who this is. What color is hazel? <laughs> you done? Yeah. <laughs> the is very, very. As soon as you said tats, I just thought, oh my god, dang. Now I'm gonna show you what my crush actually looks like. I'm nervous. Oh, it's me. One that you adore. Can you love? Oh. all that I can give to you. For real? To yeah. Who did you think it was? You. <laughs> you can I hug you? Come here! What the hell? Yeah, I was like... You can't be gay. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a little scared. Yeah. It's always been like a negative undertone about the LGBTQ plus community. I'm scared that my relationships with the people in my life right now are gonna be different. People are gonna look at me differently. And certain family members and friends won't wanna be friends with me the way we used to be. It's like, but I have this like heavy weight on my chest. It's been something that's been an elephant in the room in my life for a long time. I've been feeling really depressed the past few months because of it. I just want to be able to like someone and be able to tell my mom or my other friends. It's kind of hard for me because I'm such a surface level person and I don't like talking about my feelings. And it's very hard for me to open up to someone like my best friends, my closest friends, my mom, my brother. They, no one really knows what's going on up here. The past few months have been hard, but um, I think I'm ready. The wrapping of house? Yeah. <laughs> so, holy clothes and sing three words I do like to do. Dancing on the kitchen tiles. Yes, you make my life worthwhile. So I hold you with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry, you're gonna make me cry. You did? Yeah. I do accept you who you are. You know that, right? I asked you so many times. I know. Throughout the process of making this video, I realize I'm very grateful for the people I have in my life. So I want to thank every single one of you. I hated that. But before I go, let me reintroduce myself. Cool. Oh, that was rainbow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elle Mills, and I'm bisexual.